Okay, so the first thing we need is a bubble uh, type of font. Um, I'm going to the site called uh, fontucl.net uh, slash uh, en for English. And in the search, we'll just type in bubble. There's uh, probably a hundred different font sites out there for free fonts. Just happened to pick this one. Um, I'm going to grab the second one down here called bubblegum font. We'll just go ahead and click download. Um, it wants us to um, validate. Let's see if I can guess what this is. And uh, we'll click download now. And let's see here. We're going to save the file. I'll save it uh, to this folder that I created. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'll just go ahead and re-download it again. And the next thing we need to do is uh, install the font, which is pretty easy. It's the font right here, so I'm just going to right-click and choose. Uh, so we'll choose um, install, and it's telling me it's already installed. We'll go ahead and replace it. Yes, why not? Sure. And it's that easy. It's installed. So let's flip back over to Photoshop. We'll go File, New. And we'll pick our canvas size. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and um, uh, choose uh, uh, photo, and we'll leave this um, maybe like uh, three by one. Actually, let's go four by one. Uh, RGB color, transparent, uh, square pixels, and we'll click OK. And so there's our canvas. Next thing we want to do is give us a nice background to work on. So let's go to our gradient tool here and we'll just click inside of here and uh, let's choose this one. And I happen to know that I want to modify a little bit so we're going to uh, click the starting point here and change this color just by clicking on that to 595959 and hit enter and then OK. And then we just grab our cross here and drag it straight up and there's a, a nice background color. Okay, so next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create a new layer. And uh, let's choose our text tool. We'll just click right here and start typing. Now, uh, mine is defaulting to um, the text appearing up and down like this. I'll just click, click this tool and it brings it right back. And then we'll click our selection tool and slide her right over. And... Uh, Let's click back on our text tool and we're just going to highlight our first letter and then we'll click our, our color palette. And I've already got some um, colors pre-selected here to make the video go a little faster. So FF and then four zeros and that'll be our first color and then we highlight our next letter. Um, click the color palette again and um, There we go. Now you can actually, you know, pick your colors from the color palette like this and adjust it whatever you want to do. I just to save time, I went ahead and pre-selected these. Um, what's our next one? Zero C. Oops, got to type in the box here. Zero C, F F zero zero. And our next letter I color palette. Double click inside of there. Zero zero. 2, 4, F, F, and letter A, double click inside of here, this is going to be E, 4, 0, 0, F, F, and finally our last letter, color palette, F, F, B, A, 0, 0. And there we go. We'll just click off of it over here, and you can see there's our nice uh, rainbow of, of colors for our letters. So the next thing we want to do is we'll select our layer. And then we're going to right-click and choose Blending Options. And we're going to go down here to Inner Glow. And we'll change this to Normal, um, this to Precise. And we'll go ahead and play around with the uh, the size here. And you can see as we do that, it, go ahead and 
change the letters, gives them a slightly different look there. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to center. And you can see it gives it a completely different uh, look there for our glow. So let's go ahead and re uh, resize this a little more. So you can just kind of play around this, with this until you get the right effect. Um, it's not that hard. So everybody has their own little taste in, in terms of where they what their happy point is. And mine is going to be... Oh, let's pick something maybe around right there. Um, you can have some fun just kind of playing around with the other settings in here. You can play around with the opacity if you wanted. Um, let's see, down here we have uh, the choke and the range. Just find something that you like and the jitter. And when you find what the settings that you like, um, you can actually continue on. Of course, you can do um, shadows. You can apply, like you can see there. That's that's kind of a nice effect. Um, just kind of play around and see what kind of that gives us the letters a nice outline, and then you can tweak these settings in here. So I encourage you just to play around uh, with these various settings to get the actual effect that you want. But pretty much this is how you get your nice glossy text uh, or colorful. Um, balloon uh, bubble type of text. Mm -hmm.